Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today I'm going to make a short little video of me experimenting on dyeing some yarn. Uh, this is the test skein that I'm going to use. I've tied on my little stuff and I like to do that in preparation. And then the other thing I like to do, and I'm actually going to move you guys around a little bit, is this is my um, dye kit is what I call it. It's got my dyes in it. It's got the yarn that I use. This is some that was gifted to me that I just, it splits. It's, I just don't like it. So I use it to tie the yarn gatherings. So I have my dye in here, different things that I use. We'll need this today, these today, I need the ladle today, that today. Um, these are a little special and I don't ever use these for food. Okay. So I've got all of that. I like to gather things up. Got my vinegar. These are low temp dyes. So I just buy it by the gallon, the cheapest I can find. Um, it works as my citric acid. So um, I also have a bunch of bowls. However, today we're going to try it laying down. I also have my coffee over there just in case you don't know what that is. I've got my pan on to boil. And I don't, these are low temp. So I don't even want, I just want a rolling steam and it's just coming to temp stove on low. It's got some air bubbles in there. I'm going to make the dye up in this. I'm going to ladle it into this and then I'm going to put my yarn in here and see if it'll leave polka dots. If not, I plan on using red, which is what I'm going to dye all of this. So, um, let's do that. Greener Shades has a book that you mix your own if you want, but I think for this I'm just going to use some good old flame red, and then if I do do anything, it's got uh, Greener Shades has flame red, and they have ruby red. Um, I'm actually going to go for flame red. Eh, maybe we'll go for ruby red. We'll go for ruby red. Ruby red, it is. Yes, I changed my mind a lot. So what I tend to do is so that my water is the same temp, I like to mix. This is a powder. Okay. You guys can see that in there. It's a powder. I take this and this. I have my spoon. I have my spatula, I guess you want to say. Well, let's see if we can. I'm still learning this camera because I haven't done a whole lot on tripod. So um, this is... <laughs> A Hill Science Diet Cup and it's got measurements on it so yeah I use that too all right I am gonna take this water about half a cup is normally what I do and that's just because that's normally where it comes out okay we're gonna take this and I want it to be really really red so I'm going to mix my dye you can use whatever dye you want okay I want it really red, like a dark ruby red. Okay. Always put your cover back on your dye and put it in there so it doesn't get moisture. You don't want it, you don't want the container getting moisture. So this is going to be my dye. Okay. Oops, let's see. And I just, you can see that's, well, you can't, if I would move my fingers, it is really red. Okay, so, and because these are low temp, yes, that's a little warm on my fingers, but it's not burning me. Um, so, I'm actually going to take this tray, make sure I got all the dust off of it, I don't want any dust on my yarn, and I'm going to, I am going to use my ladle, and I'm going to see, I don't know how much water it'll take, I may have to bring some more to a boil. And I just want to cover the bottom of that because of what I'm going to be doing with it. I need to push it back. So it looks like three ladles full. Mm, we're going to go for four. Okay. I'm going to part of one because I have. I'm just making sure it's even over the whole bottom. Now, if you remember, this tray is a used tray. So. I'm going to leave the rest of this so that I can put my vinegar in it. I've got it on a low heat. It's not going to get over high. I'm actually going to turn it down just a little bit. 
so that it'll sit there and maintain. I have my strings on here, and I am just going to lay it on the perforated one. And let's see here. All right, I want to make sure that all of it like has an area exposed. So maybe I'll just lay it like this. Now one thing that you'll notice is I have not set the twist with this. I use the die and my vinegar to set the twist. So, all right, I have it laid. I don't know if you can see that. Well, I can actually move the camera. Oh, there we go. I have it laid out. I have my water in there. I'm now going to take and dump my dye in my pan. Remember, this is really red. And I want it really red. I'm going to make sure that there's no other color in there or no other powder in this. I'm going to mix the dye. This pan may not hold um, the heat as long as I like because just because it's so shallow and that's my one concern so I've got this up got it I'm going to do this I've got the die there all right now I'm just going to simply set this pan and I'm hoping you guys can see I'm going to set this pan in and watch the bubbles nope Okay, so that's not going to work. It's cute. In theory it is, but look what happens when I put it on. All the liquid comes through the holes and then just soaks up into the yarn. So basically I'm going to have red yarn, this skein. See it wicking right there and it just wicks everywhere. So, okay, it didn't work, but the skein's going to be red. Oh, now my finger's red. <laughs> so, um... I'm going to let it sit there and soak up as much as a, of the color as it will. I might throw another skein. I have um, those four skeins. And who knows, I might do like a red and a purple. Um, I thought about red and black. But obviously, I'm going to incorporate this small little one. Maybe I'll do it in different shades so that it's gradient. I don't know yet. But I will make a video on that later. I will set this with vinegar just because. So take this and we'll just push it down into there. And I probably will get rid of this pan down here. Didn't do polka dots, but I'll find another use for the pan. It's a good metal pan and I am not going to uh, give up on it yet. Ooh, that's a pretty red. That's a really pretty red. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's really pretty. All right. So, if you watch this one, I'm sure you'll hear all about it in the podcast next week. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, so that didn't work. I am here in my nasty washroom doing laundry. But I want to show you how the yarn actually turned out. I found a beautiful picture online of a sunset or sunrise. I'm not sure which. And I decided, remember this is my test skein, and then I moved to this skein. And you guys might have even seen me do that. Um, this little one right here is the test. And since it didn't work, I just decided to make it something else. That's the way it goes.